Stacy, do you have your mustard out? Oh my goodness. I'm in the office, so I, I'm not getting to do it. I'm just watching. That's all right. So for those of you that are on, it's an inside joke. So Stacy loves this mustard that we're going to use today. So she actually went and bought her own jar of mustard just to eat with mm -hmm. I could just eat it with a spoon, actually. You know, that good. Which is so odd for you, Stacy, because you are such a picky eater. I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, we are live, so you, you, you can go ahead and start. Okay, awesome. Good deal. So thank you all for hopping on and watching our happy hour today. Um, I, again, for those that are just now getting on, I have my niece, Kirsten, with me. Um, she's going to be my helper today so we can get everything in our, in an, in our hour. Um, so we had put in the, um, the thing that went into the news brief, grab a couple cheeses, get a meat, and then any kind of thing that you want to throw on your board. There's no set ingredients or, you know, fruit or anything like that that you want to use on your board. These are just some of the items that we use on a daily, weekly basis for boards that we do. Um, for family or, you know, for get-togethers, stuff like that. So for those of you that uh, that bought a couple cheeses, what we usually do is we do our cheeses first. So if you guys want to unwrap your cheeses, um, we have a party, which is it's, 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 it's so yeah. So anybody that knows me on this one, I like one. So this is like a Merlot soaked. So some cheeses are good for cutting, um, and some cheeses are really good for crumbling. So the Merlot soaked cheese is a really good crumble cheese. So you can like slice it, and then you can kind of kind of crumble some up as well. So Kirsten, let's start with the Havarti, and you can cut it however you want to. I always like to think about the cracker. Yeah, so here's the cut it cracker size. Yeah, here's is all about the cracker. Um, me not so much. Um, so she just like. cheese, you know, she'll like so you cut it in two and then cut it again in a little bitty slices so it goes well on your cracker. So if you guys just want to cut just one of your cheeses. So some of you that are participating, what cheeses did you get? Got a sharp cheddar. Ooh, yum. Oh, yum. That one probably crumbled. What else did you get? Did you just get one, Nathan? Um, I had like, I had the cheese like thing that I was like, honestly wanting to save it for next week for actual Thanksgiving. So I got like a three pack of cheeses though. So. See this guy? You can see it. So it is the copper kettle cheese, um, a Gruyere, and uh, a Santal. Yeah, I only heard the big one. We got three and two that and a Havarti. Ooh, Havarti. Using with corn olives. Or every time. Havarti's a go to. <laughs> it's super mild. So you can just kind of pair it with a knife, really. Number low, if you like that wine kind of flavor, that's a really good one to use. And it's got like a little bit of a crunch to it almost. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a harder cheese. Okay, so she's finishing up the Havarti. And then we're going to move on. We'll go ahead and move on to the Brie. We'll do the Merlot last. So, what do you think in different sizes? So, this is the. Is that the new 
So there's the package from Aldi. It's from Aldi's, and it's really, really good. So um, again, Brie comes in different sizes. You can get the great big wheels or the medium. So this is the little mini wheels. So what we usually do is we just start cutting it like a like a pizza. Just start cutting it like a pie. So we'll cut it in half. Some people, if you're doing a bigger board, you may want to leave part of it whole and then just cut, cut one half of it. And then you can just cut it into whatever size pieces that you want. Or you can like leave it whole and just like slather some jam or yeah. something on top. Absolutely. We do that as well. And then if you want to get creative, um, especially around Christmas, what you can do with the brie is if you have like a metal cookie cutter, you can uh, mash the cookie cutter down into your brie. And then when you pull it out, then you're going to kind of have to pick out your shape. And then you can put like jams and jellies in your shape, like gingerbread or we've done a bell, hearts for Valentine's Day, that kind of stuff. So that's really cool to, to do also. We've also done a Christmas tree where you use rosemary and the uh, pomegranate seeds so it looks like a real live christmas tree you know uh, in your brie so those turn out super super cute so there's how we cut our brie just just yeah just super super little pieces and then for and then for your merlot normally what we will do let me get this out of the way what we will do is I'll cut it in two, cut it in half. This will work for like cheddar too. Like anything that feels like when you cut it, it's going to fall apart. You can do this. Yeah. So Nathan, with your cheddar, this might work yeah. if you yeah. want to crumble. So a lot of the times if we're doing a bigger board, we'll leave like a whole piece. And then for the other side, we'll, we'll crumble it and then kind of place it around is kind of what we'll do. But for this one, let's, let's take that piece. Well, what you can also do is if what you've got your half, you can cut that in two and then just crumble the bottom part. So like if you wanted to put your cheese on there and then if you have your board, you can go ahead and start putting your cheese on there just wherever you want. There's no, specific, no, rules. no rules. It's entirely up to you. So you can start putting your cheese on there. Sometimes it doesn't crumble as good as you like for it to. Yeah. Some people like big hunks, some people don't. And then you can do your brie. So you kind of want to space it out a little bit. And then you can just kind of design it and, and place it however you want. Same thing with your Havarti. Or whatever you I know we said two cheeses, but we did three. We wanted to show you how to cut the brie. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. And then you just kind of put that on there. So let us you let you tell us if we're going too fast because we want you to be able to make your board with us. Yeah. Do you have any questions, Molly? Are you doing okay? I think she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. My mom and I are doing it together, so I'm far oh, away. Really awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, just so just wherever you want to put your cheeses, just that's where it needs to go. So then the next thing we do is these these infamous roses that we do. So, Molly, Nathan, for those that are participating, are you ready for us to move on to the roses or do we need to give you guys a minute? Molly's good. Right, Molly's top corner. Molly, you're good. Ready. Okay. Awesome. Good deal. So, we like roses two different ways. Okay. So, um, and let us know if you can't see us. I'm going to scoot closer. To the okay. So, Pearson's going to I'm good. I'm sorry. So you want to stack them and they may come packaged like this and then just fold them in half so they look like this. That makes it super easy. So this, the way that Kirsten's going to show you is going to be more of the tighter rows that we do. 
And then once you fold it over, you roll it up like a, like a newspaper. Like if you're going to swat your, your pet, like they're being bad, and you're going to swat them with a newspaper, you just roll it up like a little newspaper. <laughs> Yeah, go, go a little closer so they can kind of see. All right, so then when you get it rolled, it looks kind of like this. And then you can take like singles and like add, add petals. Some petals. Yeah. You want to go ahead and make another one? Just to kind of show them. Oh, oh, you're making petals out of it. No, it's okay. So, and then we found that it works best that because once you've got your cheek, you might want to stick them in somewhere where you can keep their their petals together. Yeah, kind of pin their petals. Yeah, with your pin them together. That way they don't fall apart. Hey Marty, I just made my rose, but it's like only on one side. So do I, is that where you add the petals? Like if it looks like that. Do I need okay. to just out? So then take some of the other the other row and then just kind of fold those over. Okay. If somebody comes in and all it, oh, it, oops. <laughs> Kirsten's not used to doing anything with uh, an eight, eight by eight, so she's like, What is that noise? And you guys just let us know when you are ready, and we can show you how to make the. So, again, we made the, the little rows where you, you do the actual rolling. And now we're going to show you how to make a rose with a wine glass. And we said little, but you honestly can make those like yeah. as big as you want. Yeah. It just depends on how much meat that you use. They'll get bigger. We have found the more, you know, the bigger that you make it, the harder they get to work with. Yes. So you want to make sure that, you know, you don't put so much, roll so much that they kind of get out of hand. Cause then they just kind of, they just explode and fall apart. Okay. So the meat that we used for the small rose was Italian salami. An Italian salami. And, and then this meat that we use, it yeah, it's like it's a, too. was like it a sopracetta? Yeah, this is a sopracetta that we used. So the meats have a little bit different taste. This has got um, maybe a little peppery, the sopracetta. We found that it's a little peppery mm -hmm. and it's really thin. So that's really good because um, it works really well. And the sopracetta I got, I picked it up at Kroger. That's but honestly, Aldi. and honestly, Aldi has a wonderful selection of cheeses. They have an amazing yes. Um, even like um, you know the thing you know your your meats or I'm sorry I'm your sure nuts. Saying what I'm doing, I'm just showing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about it. So so when you start with your when you start with your okay, rose sorry. for your wine glass, here's I'm going to do a little closer so you can see. Okay. It's super easy. You just taste and slide them in the hole. Yep. And then kind of pinch it down just a little bit, not super hard. So it just sits Here you go. just inside the edge. And then you just work your way around the edge of the wine glass. Make sure that it, you know, that you keep your, you know, half in, half out. And that way your rose petals will be big and yeah, they're big. And big. Can you see that? Oh yeah. And then I like to like go over top of wherever the seam is on the next roll. And then it just, just makes it look going. It just makes it look prettier. And I apologize. I didn't really say anything about a wine glass, but if you guys are like me, you got one handy somewhere. And in the I mean, technically you can do it with another glass. Yeah, too. you can do it even with maybe a bowl. Like if you got like a, a taller bowl or like small bowl. Yeah. You can use it with anything. It's got a lip. You guys doing okay? Good deal. They're on mute. <laughs> Kirsten's like they're quiet. I'm like they're on mute. <laughs> okay. So once you get all of your meat on your glass, yep. You just turn. I always put my hand on the bottom of it. Keep it in mind if we're doing one for somebody else, we always work. You know, gloves, but this is ours. So then you just flip it over. Oh, yeah. 
and pull your wine glass out and look how pretty that is. And these are bigger. So like if you have a board, like if your board is bigger than what you want, you know, your cheese and meat and everything to be, you can always make these bigger roses and it takes up space. Good. Yeah. So those work out really well. Um, if you're like, oh my gosh, I've got this, all this extra space. Throw a couple of these bigger roses on it and it will take it up. And honestly, I like the roses because it's easier to get the meat apart when it you're is. trying to eat it. And so that works out a lot better. Everybody doing good? Good deal. Awesome. Now the fun part. So now's the fun part. This is my favorite part. So once we get your once you get your meats, you get your cheeses on there, that's when you get to do all your pretty stuff all your pickles and your fruits and your nuts grapes all that kind of stuff so that that's my favorite part of doing the board kirsten not so much but that, that's what i like to do so we have a bunch of different stuff um just some stuff that we usually use on our boards we have grapes um we love the cotton candy grapes but i didn't i couldn't find any um well i do yeah we don't yeah um, strawberries we love to use sweet pickles um, during the holidays we'll use cranberries just a side note don't eat them they're just for looks yeah don't um, eat them yeah. gross. <laughs> and we love olives any kind of olive blue blue cheese stuffed olives just martini olives any kind of olive. These are bell pepper. oh they are bell pepper olives yeah um we have used pistachios um, we also uh, use Marcona almonds if we don't want to use pistachios. Uh, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. Um, again, we Stacey's talked about favorite. the strawberries. Stacy's favorite. We love to use the whole grain mustard. And here is what the jar looks like for everybody. We actually get this from Aldi's. You can get it Aldi. at Kroger. Sorry. You can get it at Kroger, but it comes in a smaller jar. So it's really good from Aldi. And it's only like a dollar something. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. cheap. Stacy went and got that. We um, also use Big Jam. I didn't get Big Jam. Oh, oh, okay. Well, so Big Jam is definitely one of our go-to, and we get this at Aldi. But you can also get Big Jam at Kroger. So that's kind of what those jars look like if you want to get some of this. Um, at Kroger, they also have Chili Fig. Which is very good. It's very good. Very good. Little bitty bite, not a lot. But it is really, really good. But also, it's like important to just get what you like. So, like, if yep. you don't like grapes, don't get grapes. Get strawberries or something else. Just whatever Absolutely. you like, just get it and have fun with it. Yeah. Now we we do we do heavy on everything. everything. Some people may not like to be on their boards. They may not like things that are piled on top of each other. We do. We do. <laughs> we load it down. Um, just we just load it down, and we you know we just pick and graze all day long. All day long actually, um, something else that you can do if you don't like to do the fig jams in the little bowls is we love these little bitty jars. Um, we get these at Kroger. They come in a set. Yeah, like four yeah, different four flavors. Four set. Um, and usually only near the holidays. Yes. Like they're, they don't yeah. have them so home. if you think that's something that you're going to want to do moving forward, you know, Valentine's Day, something you may want to stock up. This one is apple butter. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and so. with these little ones, you can leave them in the jar and just stick a little spoon in it. Just you don't even it. have to take it and put it in a little bowl or anything. Um, also, if you're doing these from home, um, we recommend use a hodgepodge of your bowls. You know, use different sizes, you know, different um just it's just i mean i think it's just more personal yeah if you can just use your stuff you have from home and then just make it your own um if you have little bowls that have been hand painted um anything like that then you can definitely use those um so we definitely recommend that you do stuff like that it makes it much more personal you better get some grapes on there for oh, you yeah. to do grapes so yeah so we're just going to start putting some stuff on yeah, this is. Yeah, I, we should have went with the bigger board. Yeah, my board's not big enough, but that's okay. So again, if or you know, if you don't want to do a board, sometimes what we would do, um, we we're known for doing grace tables, even for our family get-togethers. So if you don't have a board big enough, or you want to do something bigger than what your board is, if you want to get that brown, like I call it wrap, butcher paper, paper wrapping paper. paper. 
um, lay it down on your counter and just go to town. Just start throwing it on your counter on that butcher paper and then just create whatever you want. We love those. Um, sometimes we'll do the butcher paper on the counter. Kirsten has beautiful handwriting. She does calligraphy. So she'll write if it's a birthday or happy Valentine's Day. So we'll just write, you know, what birth, you know, whoever's birthday. birthday or, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's also, you know, something that you all can do as well. We love, love, love that. So we've got our grapes. We have our jam. Um, we're going to put some pickles and some olives on there. Where? Somewhere we're going to put some pickles and some olives. Some people don't like pickles, and that's okay. Or if you don't like olives, don't put olives on yeah. it. It's really just whatever you like, play with it, um, enjoy it. It's supposed to be fun. You know, sometimes you know we'll make these for friends, and like, eh, lay off the pickles, but add more olives, or vice versa. So we'll do whatever. You have to do that. I know, but this is our lunch. This is our lunch. <laughs> so we're making this for ourselves for our lunch. Um, so we're gonna put some strawberries. I like to put strawberries on top of the brie. I don't know why, I just think it looks pretty. So if you do your strawberries, you can just put those anywhere. Again, we, we love to pile. Yeah, we love to pile on. So then you have your, your blueberries. You know, you can kind of spread those around a little bit. I didn't have crackers on there. Nope, no crackers. Some people like to put crackers on their board. I don't. Some people like to put Some crackers people, on their board. Some I don't. don't. Um, I'm like, well, if you put crackers on there, you can't get all your stuff on there. So that, that's just me. So we have blackberries. We're also going to put some blackberries on there. And, and we have these really cute maple cookies. Yes. You can get those at Aldi or Trader Joe's or maybe even Kroger. Maybe. But yeah. We love those. We They're do. Good, sweet treat. And then we have... we. Do pistach we're gonna do pistachios today, so you can kind of just throw those around if you got a little hole and you don't want um, don't want your board to be shown. You can throw those on there as well. Are we missing anything? Nope. I think we've got everything. Um, one of our favorite crackers, I've got some in a Ziploc baggie, um, are the fig black sesame. Those are delicious. These so, I usually buy these yes. at. Trader Joe's, but Aldi had these this time yeah. in the um, If you like fig, these, these are good. These are amazing. They really, really are good. Um, something else that we'll also add to some of our boards um, is yogurt pretzels. So if you like yogurt pretzels, today we have um, just regular yogurt flavored. For the holidays, we will try to get some of the different flavors. So we also have pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. So you could use that for Thanksgiving, you know, we use these also for Halloween. So you can also use those as well. Um, for Christmas, like if you want to do a Christmas board, of course, you know, you would think accordingly. We use um, peppermint bark. Yes, we but use don't, bark. you cannot store it with peppermint bark or yes. all your cheese will taste like yeah. peppermint. So if you're going to, let's say you're going to take your board um, to someone's house, you want to avoid the peppermint you bark. You do. Or you just want to put the peppermint bark after you get there. You get there. Yes. Yes. I got crackers. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. We don't have room for crackers on our board. Um, but sometimes we'll put out another little board and we'll have like a little smorgasbord of different kinds of crackers. Like we'll do these, um, just the mini artisan. We'll do the fig, um, you know, some water crackers, some water. something like that. Uh, we like this collection because it's got like four or five different flavors in it. Yeah. And you can get like, just find which ones you like. Some of them are kind of plain. Some of them are, you know, spicy. Some of them are veggie. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then we found too that when you're making boards, um, sometimes you, you know, if you're going to make it and you're going to put all kinds of different stuff on it, it's a lot of stuff to buy. Um, so, you know, if you're going to make a big board, you know, you're definitely going to get your bank for your buck. You're going to use all your strawberries and your raspberries and your blackberries and stuff. If you're going to make a smaller board, we've noticed that unless you use it for maybe a fruit salad or you're going to make a couple boards, you know, over the holiday period, um, you know, that it's definitely worth going ahead and getting, you know, all of your, your things that you want to put on your board. The mustard, the, the fig jams, that kind of stuff, you know, your dry goods, all that stuff's going to keep. So, you know, you can keep that for a while. Um, and then if you're, if you're going to shop at Kroger, their stuff is not seasonal. They have fig jam yes. and mustard year round. 
but if you if you like Aldi, they are pretty seasonal. They got it like yeah, two or three do. weeks ago, we and have, then they'll be gone before Christmas probably. And, and we found that once, I mean, even when you start to even think about a season, Aldi will put their stuff out and, and, and we'll buy it all. Just yes. if you want it, buy yes. it all. So we went to Aldi not too long ago, and they had these little bitty chocolate pumpkins. And they were so, so beautiful. Cute. So Kirsten came home with one box. She said, oh, look at these. So I went back. No, no, like yeah. a week later, not yeah. even a week later. So those, it's definitely something if you find it at Aldi, get it, get it, get as many as you think that you're going to use. These maple cookies too. If you yes. get those and like those, those are seasonal. Yes. They'll be gone quick. Um, those are really good. Those little maple yeah. cookies are really, good. really good. So those sweet, are awesome. But not too sweet. Yeah. Those are awesome on a Thanksgiving board. And we use these for Halloween as well. For our little Halloween boards. So we've just been talking, talking, talking. Do you guys have any questions? I know, I know. Uh, not yet. Okay. I was gonna say, my, um, I use pepperoni instead of salami, and it, my rose keeps falling apart. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you've got like a cheese close to it, we like pinned it down. I don't know yeah. if you can see. <laughs> So we kind of pinned it in between so a couple like, cheeses, Molly. Is it, the rose down and then kind of tuck some cheese up next to your pearls. And it's just so that way. What's the plan? Got it. And sometimes you know, if you have trouble with that, you know, you could go ahead and put some other things on there and then kind of just, you know, kind of wiggle them in, wiggle your pepperoni roses in, um, you know, where they'll stay together. Or you could always do like a toothpick, toothpick until your board is finished and then pull your toothpick out. Yeah. We've done that too. Marty, you, that chili fig jam sounded really good. Did you say that was at Kroger or Aldi? It's, it's at Kroger. It's the, same brand. It's the exact, then it's the same brand except where it says fig spread. It says chili fig spread. Oh. So it's that brand, but chili. Yeah, thing. it says chili fig, and th th it is delicious. Um, they have a Kroger has a lot of the Murray products too, and they have like these little, ch like this little jam, this little spread. It's a Murray's. Um, they have cherry, they have blueberry, they have um, apple butter. Where are some of the other ones? They usually um, have like big ones and little ones yeah. too around Christmas, so they'll have like those little bitty ones in the set. But if you like one, they'll usually have like the big one. Yeah, two. You can get like a big one. I will say honestly, if you're going to like a, if you have like a, a larger family, or if you're going to like a friend gathering, these little jars they will not last you. No, long. especially the fig. Yeah, everybody's gonna like the fig jam. I promise. Or the mustard. Especially the mustard. Stacey's there. Everybody's gonna love it. They're gonna eat a ton of yes, that. Yes, they will. A small one. I um, won't do it. So when you're dealing with your spread, sometimes more is more. More is better. More is um, always better. <laughs> more is always better. Um, that way you make sure that you have plenty. Um, some of the pairings that we'll use is we'll do a piece of Havarti. We'll do a cracker and then we'll do either the fig or the mustard. Um, and then a piece of the uh, salsa or, you know, a lot of people like to use a uh, prosciutto. So, you know, you can do that as well. Um, and you can just kind of mix things up. You know, use a pickle and use a different kind of meat. Um, it's a kind of different cracker. I, something else that we like to use when we're doing our beer boards and a graze table for family gatherings is we will buy a baguette, you know, wherever you, you know, oh, just yeah. those baguettes toasted. that are already made, toasted baguettes. Slice those into little pieces, put them with your crackers. And, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you can, you know, you can use oh, those geez. with your jams, your meats, and your cheeses, and it looks beautiful and tastes really good. So that's always an option that you can do too. Are you going to try that? I was going to show them how to, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. Now, the roll roses are harder to get apart. They are. They so are. you got to kind of pin them and then pull one piece out. So something then... that we didn't show you that we probably should have is to do a river. So you can do, um, it's a meat river. <laughs> a little salami river. Yeah, a little salami river. So I'm going to take this rose back off and show you guys what a river would look like. So... Instead of, you still fold your, your meat in two, but then you just fold it again. Okay. And then you just do a bunch of your meat like that. And then, 
you know, like I said, Molly with your pepperoni rose, you just kind of stick it in somewhere where it won't fall apart. That's what you do with a river. So you can just kind of stick it, stick them in, you know, put three or four of them together and then just kind of stick them somewhere and they're easier to get a hold of too. And then you can just pluck one and put it on your cracker. And they look pretty on the board as well. We've been using a, um, a type of meat that it's uh, got pepper around the edges. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember what it was either. Um, so if you like like spicy or hot or peppery things, that's a really good meat to use and, and does and really well. And it's really pretty too. It, it's very, very pretty. So we would love to see your all's boards if there's any way that you could show them to us. Just to see your creativity juices flowing. We're going to come around so we can see. I don't think my camera is, is going to cooperate, but I mean, it doesn't look half bad for what it is. <laughs> well, you'll have to see. Oh, see. Oh, I in our chat. That's super cute. That is very, very cute. Love oh, it. She, she, did chocolate. she did chocolate. Is that chocolate? Yes, that's chocolate. Yes, I love that. We've oh, done chocolate as well. I don't like this app. <laughs> that's super, super cute. Hey, Marty, it's Rachel. I texted you a picture of mine. Okay, oh. awesome, awesome. Because I can't yes. figure out how to show it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See how good the wine rose, the wine glass roses oh, yeah, look? They, look so good. they do. They look super, super good. Yeah. Um. So Molly or oh, it looks so good. And I see. Uh, and Nathan, maybe uh, people could send you guys a picture, and we could post them. Yeah. That looks really good, Rachel. I've seen you do a few. You have seen me do a few. <laughs> you are. You are correct. Some people also like to use these neat little carrots. Now, on some of the boards that we do, if, if we're doing a big board, like if we're having like a big family gathering and we're doing a big graze table, we'll also incorporate crudite um, and do carrots, flour, celery. Yeah, like I'll, I'll make a ranch dip. We have homemade beer cheese, um, that kind of stuff. So those are little cherry tomatoes. Um, also, if you're doing a bigger board, uh, oranges look really really pretty on a oh, board. Or like the blood ones the blood oranges look really good even to take a pomegranate and just slice it open as decoration looks really really pretty on a board too if you're doing a, a big one if you've got the room you didn't put any cranberries on there we'll put a few on there how do you feel about persimmons as decoration i think they're beautiful you... i don't know okay. Um, we also love fig. Oh, yeah. actual figs, like um, mm -hmm. fried ones too, because they're easier to yeah. get. But like yeah. sometimes Trader Joe's will have like, and they're okay. pretty, and they yeah. taste really good yes. too. Yes. Um, what are some of the things that we've used? We've actually done a grace table. And we put those little um, that place in Lexington called a nut, what is it? nothing but cakes. nothing but cakes. So we did a grace table. We took some of those little bunt cakes and put them, just mix them into the grace table too. So that's also an idea. Um, you know, if you're having if you're having friends or family over and you have nothing but a grace table as your meal, trust me, it is my meal. <laughs> Oh, Molly, look how cute that is. Love oh, it. I love the grapes on top. Look, her love rose it. turned out so good. Yeah, everybody's roses turned out awesome. Yeah, the trick with the roses was really nice. Like, like yes. at first, I like I, I had problems with like the rolled one, but like the wine glass one, like it was super easy. That, those are super super easy. You can do the little rolled roses with little regular size pepperoni, but whew, they are it is hard. It's so mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. It's a pain. 
here is a pain. Good deal. Is anybody having questions? Rachel, is this your lunch? Yes, it is my lunch. I'm eating it right now. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was muted most of the time because I was snacking as we were like doing this. Us too. Marty, thank you so much. This was so this fun. Awesome. Well, we're glad you enjoyed it. We, of course, you know, it's a, we love doing them. We, we love making them. We make them all, all the time. So we we were glad that you wanted us to to share it with you. Yeah, we appreciate it. On Saturday when we make my birthday board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll send I'll send you all that picture so you can see what her birthday board will look like. Oh wow! Yeah, we said you also make us want to go to Aldi's. I know. Do it. Amazing! Yes. They have a great selection of. Well, their produce is really good too, actually, and yeah. their meats and their cheeses mm -hmm. and yeah. Well, last night was my first time going to Aldi's, and I loved it. It's yeah. Love that store. <laughs> so thank you for introducing me to Aldi's. Absolutely. <laughs> I will say that if it's your first time going to Aldi, make sure you take your own bags because if you don't, you have to buy bags. And and or you have to have a quarter to get a cart. And you have to have a quarter to get a cart. So there you go. <laughs> Tidbit for the day. Yeah. Awesome. So is there anything else y'all have any questions or anything for us? I have one. Um, how big of a board would you suggest for like a 10 person like situation for, for 10 person Kirsten, do yeah, you 10 people. Yeah. I think it depends too. If you're going to serve a meal, uh, yeah. are you serving a meal or just having a um, charcuterie um, meal, but we're all fatties. I'll just say that we all like to eat. <laughs> we're huge foodies too. So we'll do a big old grace table and then have a big meal too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just so Kirsten's going to grab one of her boards. So if we were going to do like one, of course, when our, fight, when our family gets together, it's 20 plus. Um, uh -huh. But for 10, I would say I would 10 something with like that. something like this. What is that, 10. like a 16, 16 by 10 or, or how big is that board? Uh, maybe, eight, maybe maybe 16 by 10. You got a tape measure? 18. Somewhere. So this is three foot. This is two foot by like yeah. So 15. yeah, so if you were doing one for a meal for ten, this is two foot long. Okay. And you said you uh, you were okay with like butcher paper down on like a Absolutely. Oh yeah, that's so when we go to make mine, I don't have a board big enough. We're just gonna like butcher paper down and use this island. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I I have yep. like a really nice like butcher block island, but all of our cutting boards, I mean, they're like crappy plastic ones. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So just get you some butcher block or some butcher paper and just lay it on. Or if, yeah. you're, if your island is butcher block, you could just do like maybe even like parchment paper because it won't yeah, hurt it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. I have both. I do have like that brown butcher paper, but I also have like parchment. So. We love the butcher paper. We do. It looks nice. It it does, and it's easy cleanup. So you know, once you've like got your leftovers up, you just wad it up and throw it in the trash. So <laughs> <laughs> where do you get your butcher paper? Usually Amazon, but you can buy it at Hobby Lobby has it. Yeah, Michaels. Yeah, and sometimes you can get it where it's got um, it's like it's wax on one wax side. Wax on that side. Right. Yeah. Because it doesn't leak through as bad. Um, I don't know, Costco or Sam's. Oh, I don't know. Party you may look at Party City. Maybe those kinds of places have it. Yeah. And then they have it in different um, like lengths and too. thicknesses. Yeah. If you're doing a if you're doing a graze table and you're using the butcher paper, the thicker the better. That way it doesn't leak through. Because mm -hmm. sometimes like, fruits and your veggies will, you know. Especially if you have something like porous, like yeah, spray yeah, or something, yeah. you definitely want it to not leak through. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. But yeah, yeah. So if you guys do anything for the holidays, we'd love to see your pictures. Absolutely. We're all about a good board, about a good board or a good grace table. Love it. And then, I'll, I'll have to send you something. We're going to have two different Thanksgivings next week. So 
Well, um, and then sometimes, you know, people will ask us about um, even wine pairings with grace tables and that kind of stuff. I mean, we know what we like. We, you know, we're not really politically correct with the whole wine and cheese thing. If we like it, we bring it. Actually, so. I went for wine tasting, and a girl said that if that's the wine you like, then that's the politically correct wine. There drink. you so. go. There you go. <laughs> The better she loves the dry Love red. Love a dry red. Not me. I think it goes good with cheese. I mean, if it's got if it's wine and it tastes like grape juice, it's mine. Love it. <laughs> okay. Good advice. Good advice. Good deal. Well, we sure do appreciate everybody joining us today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for doing this, Marty. Yes, this is so great. It was perfect timing too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You guys can follow everything. Honestly, we have, um, of course, Kirsten is my niece, but I also have great nieces that oh, are, the, yeah. are little. They're three, seven, and eight, or six nine. and eight, nine. I don't know. I can't keep little, up. little girl. Yeah, uh, they love like we will just get a bunch of stuff, and they'll be like a dessert board, like marshmallows and little Reese cups and cookies, um, and we'll them little boards, and let them make their own dessert board. And I think it's like, 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 there, so you can look at yeah stuff, but. We yeah. do not have adventures either. We do not. We do not. Um, but that's just something fun to do with the kids around the holidays too. And then, you know, in hopes that maybe they'll eat some of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> we also have and, uh, or even little parties. Little, little holiday party or, you know, birthday party, something like that. Those are always good. Thank you, Marty. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is yeah. great. I'm going to do this for my dinner, my holiday yeah. dinner. So thank you. Appreciate it. Do you all, you all have a Facebook page that you do things occasionally on? We, we do. Uh -huh, yeah, I can, I'll uh, email it to you. Oh, okay, great, great. Well, thank you. I'm going to pop off. But thank you. Appreciate it. It was wonderful. Yeah. Everybody enjoy the fancy lunches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we will hop off here. Thank you all. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. On. Oh. Um, I don't know how to.
stuff to record 